guys, this is Sibylla Mirage. Welcome back to my new channel. Long time no see, I know, I know. But I was working on a project. Johnny, stop, he's ruining my lighting. And I have a little bit of pink lighting going on. What's up? I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm just in a very happy mood today. I hope this pink light doesn't drive me crazy by the end of this video. And the reason for it also um, is me filming without makeup because I can't wait to share my new purchase with you so I can use it. So this is all over the place already. <laughs> okay, so let's begin. I have filmed videos that I am editing right now, but I'm filming more today to post this video tomorrow because I'm just really excited for this one. Today, we're gonna do a good old bag unboxing video. I feel like they're getting <laughs> more outdated as we speak. And for a good reason. People are becoming more minimalistic in their approach to fashion, climate change is a real thing, and I feel like everybody's trying to do their part. I feel so bad for Florida right now. It's like snowing there, poor iguanas falling down from trees, frozen. It's insane. I used to live in Florida, so it hurts my heart. More and more people now, instead of going to Zara or H&M, prefer shopping consignment and it's amazing. So I'm trying to do my part. I'm not shopping a lot. I am not shopping from any fast fashion brands whatsoever. And if I find something that I like and that I use, I buy that item in every single color because I know I'm gonna use it a lot. Shoes for me is the biggest issue. So I'm trying to cut down on shoes and if I shop for shoes, I try not to buy anything in PU, which is polyurethane. It's um, um, faux leather because it's plastic. When it comes to bags, I have sold and gifted a lot. Now I think I have maybe 11 bags in total and I cannot live without any of them. So when it comes to me buying a bag, it's not just, oh, something new came out or somebody advertised like some Chloe bag on YouTube, um, which is ridiculous. That Chloe bag with um, the tote with Chloe written all over it. Like, what are you doing? Are you seriously trying to be a walking billboard for that brand? Like, they should be paying you. And maybe they are, but me spending money on a designer's bag and have that name logo written in such chunky letters and me being a walking advertisement for that bag, it's just a bit obnoxious of a brand to expect people with taste to do that. So I don't jump on things that are trending and are being, you know, heavily advertised. I am very specific. So this, the last time I bought a bag was last Valentine's Day in Vegas. And um, I don't use that bag very often because it's a small wallet and chain from Chanel, but it's so, so cute. I mean, Chanel price increase. I do not plan on buying any Chanel classic flap anytime soon unless I'm a millionaire and even then I don't think it's justified the way they're increasing prices because their quality went downhill. They do not, they skip on stitching like my Chanel classic flap that I bought many years ago was $4,950 and it's Chanel classic flap in black caviar gold hardware in medium size. It is already 8,800, so $10,000, right below $10,000 for the bag that I got for five. And I barely use it because it's, to be honest with you, I mean, it's too old lady-like for me. I was so obsessed with it, but now it's just sitting on the shelf and um, I'm not selling it for one reason because it's going up in price so significantly because of how little I use the one I have I never actually even looked into it so wow that is quite a significant price increase if you followed me on Instagram quite a while ago you would remember that I got a Gucci backpack and I ordered one online and then I forgot and got one in the store and then I had two at some point which was hilarious but I guess I tend to forget things so I ended up getting two, obviously I returned one, and this is the one I have. So this is the backpack and 
I feel like it would look much cuter on a bigger girl because on me it looks like I'm going to school it doesn't look like a handbag it doesn't look like cute or dainty or anything like that I really don't like the way it looks on me right now I feel like I wish it was smaller kind of like Palm Springs backpack Louis Vuitton Palm Springs but Palm Springs PM no mini it has to be Palm Springs mini the smallest one this is good for when I'm actually going hiking or for when I need to bring a lot of stuff with me when I'm traveling or when I'm going to a yoga class and I need to change afterwards or whenever I need to bring a big water bottle with me this is good but not for every day and I really and I need to be hands-free because I bring my puppy with me pretty much everywhere and um, and unless I'm carrying him he gets really angry at other dogs and kids and um, it's a shit show so I need to carry him and he needs to be close to mommy this backpack is amazing I like how neutral it is it goes well with everything but it's just too big and it doesn't look good on my body frame I feel like the smaller the better for me for me it makes me look like a schoolgirl, like I'm actually going to school and that's not something I want like sometimes that look is okay for a picture but in day-to-day -day life I want a backpack that is gonna enhance like not enhance my features but make me look like me but better <laughs> oh my gosh and I saw this backpack before but I did not get it and the reason why I didn't get it in the past it's because it was not in the color combination that I prefer so let me show you again going back to not buying luxury like fast fashion like going back to not confusing the two and you shouldn't buy into fast fashion either but if it's an expensive item I don't want to go through selling it in the future especially this my mom is not going to use it so I can't gift it to her I would need to sell it and um, I don't like selling stuff so I had to make sure that it's gonna go well with everything it can be dressed up or dressed down and you will see what i mean when you see it let me open it for you and let me show you the bag because i feel like it is very different <laughs> oh my gosh i think this is louis vuitton correct me if i'm wrong um i'm not gonna lie he looks kind of good i would definitely sleep with him for a cute bag I'm mostly kidding. All right. Okay, so I'm so excited to open it. You know when you don't buy a bag in a very very long time, you don't want to buy, it's like it's very peaceful not to spend money on stuff you don't use and I don't feel deprived at all but when I do decide to get something a lot of thought goes into it and i don't want to make a mistake so i have thought this through and it was meant to be because it was the exact bag i was trying on but the previous one had oh my gosh again 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 <sighs> had vaqueta leather it didn't have black um front I think this is not well not embossed but it's I think still umprunt leather or maybe not correct me if I'm wrong but um, this is the cutest little I think it's Montserrat or Montserrat's backpack BB I think it's the smallest size it was so cute on me when I tried it on it suits my body my frame perfectly it doesn't make me look big it doesn't look like I'm going to school it looks so cute you can obviously use it as a crossbody bag but um, I'm gonna use it as a backpack it's very very different from what I am carrying right now but only when I need it this one I can use every single day it fits it fits a lot this is what it looks like inside it's just cotton lining and it's made in Spain I already checked that at the store and the price was two thousand five hundred 
US dollars. It is insane for this. I just try and make sure that the pattern um, matches on both sides of the stitching. So um, it kind of does on this one. It's important to me because I want, I want the flowers to be centered. I want everything to be perfect. Sometimes it's not it's not always this perfect. Sometimes, especially on Neo Noes, um, I feel like the pattern is all over the place. They just don't care how they sew those bags. They are the weirdest, like, um, fastest probably made bags. And um, they went up in price so much recently, but still the quality is the same. I like Neo Noes, but at the same time, because there's glazing all over the bottom, when you put it on the floor, and I'm not gonna be careful with my bags. I put it on the floor, I don't care. So I don't want to, so obviously I don't want to rub off the glazing from the bottom. So I was looking at Neo Noe um, a few times, but I didn't want to go for it. Um, I like that style. It's kind of very my style, but at the same time, it's too big for me because I have other bags that would fulfill that purpose. This is a very cute backpack and the leather is supposed to soften up over time so then I can uh, tighten it easier but at the same time I don't want to I want to leave it like this because it looks more casual this way and it's very easy to get stuff out so I wouldn't want to always you know like use the drawstring because it has the magnetic clasp I saw it twice with Vicetta in the past but I just don't like the Vicetta straps because I feel like uh, Vicetta straps just um, become out of shape much faster than leather straps do. Um, they just crease very easily and then that crease looks like bent paper. It's weird because the Keta leather now is very different from what it used to be 10 years ago when I got my first bag from Louis Vuitton. That the Keta leather was different. It would stain easily, but it was very thick and it didn't um, bend and didn't crease as easily. Now I feel like it's paper and not really leather. It feels like it. Keep in mind, when you're buying a Speedy, let's say in Azure or uh, in Monogram with the Keta leather, the little hoops on which the handle is hanging, there are little hoops that are attached to the bag they can stretch so when you are getting so when you want to get a speedy with the kettle leather you need to see those hoops and you need to compare the width of the leather because some of them can be very paper thin and some can be thicker so when i got my speedy bandelier speedy 30 and dummy azure one of the handles stretched i'm going to quickly film a try on of this backpack for you so you can see I'm just gonna do two outfits, very casual, very dressy, and let you decide whether it's something that you wanna get for you or look into. What else? This is my Valentine's Day gift. So um, I'm very, very happy um, that this is what I got. It's like kind of a tradition now. Last year I got a bag and this year I got a bag. So um, it's, a, it's a very, nice tradition <laughs> anyway guys let me know what you think about my new baby and what you want me to film next right now i'm editing comparison of my vintage alhambra pendants so that video will come out next probably two days after this video because i'm gonna post this one first because i'm really excited to edit it and see what it looks like on camera and just like do a little uh, and do a little and do a little try on. Oh, I am obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with this bag. It can get wet, it can get dirty, you can just swipe it off with a baby wipe. It's perfect because it's carefree, like me. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video interesting or helpful, give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.